Je suis professeur à Kizomba, je suis en classe dans l'académie, Afro-Transibilibao Académie. Je suis en train de faire Georges Belinga, président de la COP S74. Et puis, ta objectif La COP S74 a commencé il y a deux ans, en fait, à cause des problèmes d'unemployment de la majorité des sub-Saharian africains ici en Bilbao. Basically, we have 80% of unemployment uh, for Africans, and we've seen that there was no response from the establishment on what we could do. The only options for Africans here in, in Bilbao was to do some formation in classical uh, jobs, like can be carpentry or working in construction. Something like that. In COPS, we change the approach for immigration. We focus on the capabilities of the immigrant people. And we've seen that Africans came here with a lot of, in the, a lot of things in their luggage. So basically, we try to exploit the capabilities, like is the case of here, uh, Danny, who is a professor of Kisomba here in, in the world. So our main objective was to reduce unemployment for Basically, we choose our projects uh, based on the capabilities of the people that they they come and what we think are the, the best options. Right now, we have six different projects leading by different people. In the end, what we aim is at least one African and one Sub-Saharan person by project. So like this, we maximize the diversity in, in each of and every situation. We are based in what is so called the Bilbao Soho, and it's a famous neighborhood because right now it's uh, in the middle of a big gentrification movement. Uh, for us, it's very vital this 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 neighborhood, this location, because we're trying to to say to local authorities that development is possible without speculation and trying to get the best out of the people that live around this area right now uh, instead of just changing people and changing habits and bringing new people to, to the area. We believe in the capabilities of people that are unemployed but they, they live in this neighborhood right now. This neighborhood is being really damaged and it's a really poor neighborhood and we hope that our initiative and some like will improve the, the lives of uh, immigrants around the area. What are the services that this organization offers? We focus basically in six different areas. The first area we focus is in dance. Basically, we teach Kisomba, Semba, and Afro House uh, to different adults and children around the Bilbao area. We have professors from uh, Angola, from, from uh, Cameroon, and all the different parts of Africa. Uh, then we have also uh, Sildo Faya, which is a, a project based on artists, uh, more in music. So basically, we have rappers and singers. Uh, the third area is has to do with the sports. Basically, we have judo and jiu-jitsu and boxing. The fourth area is commerce. Uh, commerce, basically, we try to, to focus on, on exporting products from here, uh, Bilbao to Africa, and also importing goods from Africa to Bilbao. The fifth area will be languages. We, we focus in teaching French, English, uh, along with some African languages like Swahili, Wolof, and, uh, and Fang. And the sixth and last area would be art. And this art is based, based on teaching young and adults in how to paint and how to write. Uh, I want to say that I want to say that I want to Oyo es permita cabino, bo sala actividad na bino ako. We are founded by Arobia Foundation, which is basically a, a local school. They provide us with a, a free space to develop our our activities. Also, we have uh, a very much support by the local authorities, Bilbao and Vizcaya government, and we have also support from La Caixa, which are actually granted once with, uh, with a small loan. Our activities. Uh, 
que é obtenido com este tipo de gente? Our main success stories would be regarding our neighborhood. Uh, so far, we have been having a, a big impact on accepting by acceptance by by many uh, people living in, in this area. So far, there has never been such a thing in, in this neighborhood. So Africans, they look at this space as a new way to try to get uh, jobs, and also for local people they start to see the difference uh, in, in regard to, to, to us. We have been participating in social projects and in, with other associations and our success stories has to do more with how we relate uh, to each other and how we relate to the environment. Our biggest challenge is to be sustainable, basically developing uh, social business models that could be sustainable for the year to 10, 15 years time. Prato Silicia, que si un aviso, va a motor un aviso, con el voto de Yemba, con Celini, vino, bojo pesa, con Celini como organización, vino, bojo pesa, con la bata de Susu, hoyo, valga con Fumola, organización de Susu, de ti, cupo. I will have two advices. First of all, don't do it. Second, be really, really patient. 